In view of the Nigerian Meteorological Agency NIMED prediction that Delta State will experience flooding this year as a result of heavy rainfall and uprise of the River Niger, it is expected that those living along these coastal areas start to relocate to higher lands for safety. But the residents of Oko Anana, Oko Ogbele, Oko Amako are those at the bank of the Awan River, one of the flood-prone centers in Asabane Varans, have refused to obey Delta State Government directives on the ground that they were poorly treated in previous year when government relocated them to Asaba. We used to run away to Asaba. We are government kept for us, but they are not taking good care of us. They are used to suffer us there. If we are relocating, where are we relocating to? The government make any provision for us? That is the question. But last year we will come out. I carry Bella come out. Government not looking. Another place. Now I go deliver. They not take care of me for there. As for me, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to follow anybody again. Because we have tried enough to follow them. But they don't look at us. The traditional ruler of Oko Kingdom, His Royal Majesty, Engineer Osita Won, said the only way to advance the annual flooding in the area is for the government to dredge the river Niger. That this river Niger needs to be dredged to the depth that some little vessels or boats can still be passing through the river Niger. So I've we'll been talking about it, but it has not been done. It is our belief that when it's done, these are flooding overcoming everywhere will definitely drop drastically. Because before the flood will overcome the level of depth that have been created in the river Niger, the flood will start drying up. In their separate comments, the Delta State Commissioner for Environment, Chris Onogba, disclosed that his ministry will soon embark on the clearing of canals, natural waterways, small rivers and tributaries to ease the flow of water as part of measures to prevent flooding. On this part, the Commissioner for Information, Mr. Charles Aniago, urged the people living in flood-prone areas of the state to start relocating to uplands to avoid loss of lives. We brought them from the place flooded. We took them to IDP camp, and government took very good care of them. Medical care was provided, food was provided, psycho psychological training was also provided for the people. Not to also mention the training that was given to those who were, who, who were open to training. They had, no, none of them lost education, lost learning, because we also made, made, made shift of, of, of a learning, learning situation, even in the camp. So for somebody to have insinuated that they were left to their faith, I, I, I stand to be correct. I don't think that is true. But as the volume of water continues to rise, we urge our people who are living in such flood-prone areas to please meet us halfway by relocating. All that is that government need to provide along the line. We will not lose sight of it. We will. But it might not be the way it used to be where we just go and put a concentration camp and then put everybody and then you see so many people congregating because of the coronavirus. It as it continues to rain every day with a gradual uprise of the river Niger, it is expected that government start preparing adequate camps ahead of time to receive residents of flood-prone areas. From Asaba, Austin Azu reporting.